Hello everybody and welcome to episode 29 of the Disguy PC LP. Just gonna get into this. Um... <laughs> Foolish, weak humans! Feel the wrath of the Overlord! Ha! General Carter! Demons have commenced an attack! Don't fret for even a moment. Our armada is two million ships strong. But our defensive fleet is being obliterated! What? What are the enemy's numbers? J just one, sir! The 126 Brigade has been annihilated. All soldiers have retreated. The SS Olympus is taking ground. Admiral Jackson and his crew have abandoned ship. The 782nd Brigade is out of commission. The 15th and 981st Brigades have requested emergency assistance. Oh, this is a nightmare. Our armada is being wiped out by a single demon? Impossible. I've heard nothing of this kind of strength. Looks like I took care of most of them. Whew, what a weak bunch. You really pay attention to the details. Giving them time to escape before destroying their shit. <laughs> See? He's not devoid of love. Sh shut up! I just don't want to stink up the netherworld with human corpses. I'm not... Beep, beep. Blip, be I energy reading emanating from cannon. Everybody, look out! What was that? Is that their secret weapon? You imbecile, now's not the time to be impressed. That's the Astro Cannon, the ETF's ultimate weapon. Demon or angel, you won't escape a shot unscathed. Hmm, interesting. Didn't you hear what Mr. Gordon said? Let's just avoid the cannon for now. What? That's no fun. Listen up, everyone. We have to find the entrance so we can sneak aboard. Hang in there, Jennifer. I'll save you, no matter what lies ahead. Captain Gordon, defender of Earth, will fight to the end! Okay. Uh, I remember this map from when I uh, played when I was younger, so it's actually quite interesting of a map, because I don't need to do very much if I have calculated, if I remember correctly. So, this map is interesting because it is the only map I can think of in the entire Disgaea franchise where you don't have to kill all the enemies, and they don't tell you this. You just have to come over here to this yellow spot that doesn't say that's the destination, but it's just assumed that it is, and then you just clear the stage by walking into it. And the thing is, you have to walk into it. You can't throw a unit into it. You have to walk in, which is another stupid thing. Uh, the thing is, you remember from when you were young. Um, but yeah, I, that stage annoyed the hell out of me when I was younger, only because I didn't realize it and I would try and kill the tiny cannons, or the big cannons, and they would just annihilate me, because they have a super, uh, high DPS. Papa, you're wrong, Papa. You must stop. Please, Papa, listen to me. Where am I? Are you awake? Curtis. Were you having a nightmare? You were tossing and turning. It doesn't matter. You won't have to worry about having those dreams anymore. C Curtis! That thing in your hand! You guessed it. Very good, Professor. You must know what it does, then. Stop it, Curtis! You call yourself human? Do I? I lost 70% of my body and something even more dear to me in an incident. Maybe I lost my sense of humanity at that time, too. It's time to sleep, sweet dreams. Ah! Hmm? That scream! It's Miss Jennifer! It's coming from that way! Let's go! More humans. Oh, they just don't learn, do they? Beep, beep. Blip, beep, they are not human. Life signs, 0. 0.000000. 000. 
Everyone, be careful. These are superhuman androids constructed by Curtis. Super... human? Androids? That's right. Curtis is a brilliant scientist, rivaling even Jennifer. But he's been conducting fearful research all in the name of humanity. <laughs> Could that scream be? No! He's attempting to modify Jennifer! He's attempting... To modify? Jennifer? Hey, stop imagining weird things. We have to save Jennifer. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So, what I do like about this entire chapter... Uh, in its own way. Oh god, we're getting to level 50 people. Okay. Um, what are you guys weak to? Wind, ice, ice, ice. Okay, cool. That's nice. Uh, it's nice, nice. Um, what I do like about this chapter is how powerful it just makes Laharl and essentially every demon, uh, out to be. Because, um, up to this point, you're like, oh, okay, Laharl is fine. Because you're only comparing them with other demons, you're not putting them against a human or anything like that. Um, so when you finally like see and well, hear like what they say, like yeah, we have two million ships, which you think with all that technology they'd be able to save the Earth uh, without attacking the other world. Uh, that's beside the point. Um, it's just like oh yeah, and he's just annihilating the hefty majority of them on his own. Like, very easily. And then at that point, you just have to imagine well, what about all the other demons who are like vying for that same title? Like, they would have to be about as powerful as him. Uh, and, like, it just it just blows your my mind. Because it's like, you never think of the Harl being all that powerful because you don't want to like, see him doing it. Like, yeah, he calls down a meteor as one of his moves, but it's not all that special. Um, yeah, so I, I just like it because it really puts it into context. It's sort of, uh, it's one of the things that Disgaea 5 kind of does, but in battle. Like, uh, when you first unlock Kilia's uh, over, overload skill, and you just, like, freeze fucking time, and it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a very good reason as to why he is, uh, like, uh, a claim to be one of like the most powerful overload overlords. Why he is so famed across the the, the nether the netherverse or whatever it's called the netherworlds. Um, damn, I was hoping that would kill him. Uh, 41, 55, 54, 51, uh, 54. Okay. This year's that map wasn't too much. Uh, you can tell that they were definitely expecting the uh, the cyborgs to be a bit more troublesome because they put them in a tight sp tight space, and they are generally uh, higher level than most of my characters, uh, or most of the characters that you're supposed to have at this point. Uh, but grinding. But this isn't even like Disguise Five levels is grinding because it's a bit harder to do. Beep beep blip beep. Captain Gordon, incoming message from General Carter. From Carter? Okay, Thursday. Open a communication channel. Carter! <laughs> You're being a sore loser, Gordon. Of course. I can't let a villain like you win for the sake of Earth. I swear by the name Defender of Earth, Carter, I will defeat you. You just don't get it, do you? This invasion is for the sake of Earth. What? As you know, the Earth is confronting a serious crisis. The boom in population, the rise in crime, and the shortage of natural resources. The human race can't survive much longer. It would require an astronomical budget merely to find a new home for the people of Earth. That's why taking over the Netherworld is such a simple and economical solution. Hmm. Your efforts are admirable. You'd make a great demon. But there wouldn't be a crisis in the first place if you humans weren't so stupid. As the overlord of the netherworld, let me say just one thing. Clean up your own damn mess. Ugh, you foul-mouthed little runt! I have something to add to that. 
General Carter, I am beyond angry! Give back my Jennifer, Chrome Dome! Why, you? You can't play nice, then neither will I. I'll crush you for the sake of Earth's future. Prepare yourselves. You said that I won't play nice either. Dude, you were... You backstabbed me and whatnot. He has a fucking lightsaber. Um... Okay. Wind, ice... Okay. So, none of these guys are resistant to ice, which is really nice. Um... What I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Come over here. I'm going to... Uh, I'll just wing slayer. Uh, I'll also take... I kind of want to chain across, like, because this guy will also get the effects because all of these moves like, hit all three. So I just want to continuously chain the uh, the uh, I'm trying to think of the word the benefits or the moves together. That way, uh, none of them are left out. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, so took out most of them. Uh, there's only a few left, which I can take out with uh, these guys, probably. Although, maybe not all of them hit. Okay, took him out. Probably get him with you over here. And I'll pick up Hemingway with Morgan, you know? They really made future games better. As well. Higher front line, and now we only have three people left. Oh wow. Holy shit. These guys are strong. Okay, so I don't have Ernest anymore, which is fine, I guess. Uh, just be a little bit harder. Um, so I'll get a fire. maps uh, on the inside of the Gargantua, like you would imagine as spaceships, like stuff would be, are very condensed and uh, easy to get multiple people in because my uh, team is so focused on close range. It's actually quite good for me. Let's see how you can do it. Kind of hoping he actually wouldn't kill him. Okay, getting money. You always want to have more money gained than used, which we do. Uh, save. Okay. Just gotta make sure that you're always saving in these types of games because you can't quit out of the level like I think you can in uh, Sky 5. You have to quit out of the game. Curtis! Glad you could make it, Gordon. I knew the hordes of security guards wouldn't be enough to stop you. I thought you might like to know. It's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter, and with them, my soul. Hey, he's giving us his life story. Should we attack now? No, we have to listen. The rival always has a tragic past. 
May I continue? Oh, please, by all means. As I was saying, it's been five years since I lost my wife and daughter, and with them, my soul. Back then, I was a top scientist, burning with a passion to save the Earth, if it wasn't for that fateful incident. Five years ago? As a result of the explosion in the lab, I lost my family and 70% of my body. A group of anti-space development terrorists were to blame. You mean your wife and daughter were victims of that incident? That's right. You caught the culprits. But what comfort would that be to me? I swore to my wife and child since the Defender of Earth couldn't do his job, I would take his place. And I became a cyborg to do just that. What good is the Defender of Earth if he can't save innocent people? A true Defender would do anything in his power to save as many people as possible. I can't accept anything less. I will defeat you, Gordon, and claim the title of true Defender of Earth. That is the only path left to me. So that's it. I didn't know you had such a past, Curtis. It was all due to my failings. Forgive me. But what you're doing now, Curtis, is not the right way. What? I'm fighting for the sake of humanity. Invading the Netherworld might save the Earth, but it would require many sacrifices. Is that what you want? Is that really for the sake of Earth? You should know best what it feels like to be a victim, Curtis. What will your wife and daughter think up in heaven? I am the Defender of Earth. My duty is to right what is wrong, even if it means that I must face a comrade in arms. I don't want to fight you, but this is for your own good. Here I come, comrade. Behold, the true spirit of a defender! Okay. Once again, oh god. Once again we get the enemy boosts with insane amounts. Okay, you don't like ice, which is nice. You don't like wind, which is okay. And you don't like fire, which is okay. Um... I will do. Basically, I don't want flying back, and I'm not too worried about the Harl, but I need to be careful that I don't just kind of let my most important characters die. Okay. But you should be good, because you're the Harl. Um, Take out Gordon. He's a fuck. Like ice. Fuck ice. Like ice. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, see how that goes. Uh, you're goddamn. Fuck. That's 
God, seriously? Damn! Ugh. Okay, I don't want to have to grind for this. I don't want to have to grind for this. I don't want to do that whatsoever. I might have to. I have to grind to do this on a stupid motherfucker. Guys are asleep. try and uh, what I think may have been one of the problems is that Curtain! glad you yeah, could make it I knew the hordes of security I, I thought you might okay. like to know it's been uh, fun what I'm gonna try and do is I'm hey, going to giving um, should we I'm gonna try and no, kill we have to... like one of the boosts may I continue of the boosts oh, and then take out that as I was saying of enemies. it's been five back then I was a top scientist and if then... it wasn't for that because I think my Five people are years. spread out. Too As a much. result of the explosion in the like, a group of anti space enough, You mean your wife and left the that's right. Most of my people you caught the cold. I swore to my wife and child, and God I became damn, a son. What good is a defender of a scared. true defender would do anything? I can't ex I will defeat you, Gordon. That is the So that's it. It was all But what you're doing What? I'm fighting for the sake of Invading the Netherworld But it would require many sacrifices. You should know be what will your wife I am. My duty is to write what is. I don't want. Here I come. Various mashing sounds. Okay. Um, ice. Uh, okay. So you're resistant to ice. You're resistant to ice. You're not. You're not. Maybe that is. Um, you're not. You are. You're not. That is. Okay. 
first. Okay, well, I'll just start with this side over here. Take flown. those guys I did good. I should have, yeah, but I was getting it again, uh, I should have changed my items around, but I want to keep the barrel up. So I still have another, uh, another person to bring out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send this printing over here. and hopefully he takes aggro from these guys. Uh, and these guys... Because okay. they're all still boosted a little bit. But I'm not too worried about that. Unfortunately, they all went over that. But luckily, they didn't all aggro super hard. So I'm going to... make a time to crush that guy.
Block in hopes that he attacks it, regardless. Okay, and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to use. Uh, actually, I'm going to. I'm going to break hard. I'm going to use a short move. I knew I, I knew I had the amount of people I needed to do this, but they just kind of ignored it. God damn it. The hacker don't work the way like it used to before. Uh, I, okay, these guys aren't boosted anymore, so I can kick their stupid bitch asses. In the base, just so she'll be able to like pick up Curtis if I need to stall for like one or two turns. It's nice that I can just put people back into the base panel. Yes, you, know, you can't destroy it unless, like, the base panel only gets destroyed if you throw an enemy into it. Um, so, one, and to pick up Curtis and throw him. That way, the only person that Curtis is going to attack is this guy. Is He's uh, in his range. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Laharl, uh, take Ernest, uh, take Hogmaster, uh, take him and I, uh, take him and I, uh, take Flan. Now, what I'm going to do is. Oh, shit. I have. Ugh, oh, no. Don't have really anything that will. They used too much of his SP. Damn it. Okay. Um. Well, I don't know not to use it too much right now. Do this. Braveheart these guys. I'm gonna make sure. Because I can use Omega Ice once. But I think I might just try and use regular ice uh, instead. Okay. So Curtis will come down, attack, and oh. kill him. It's fine. That is. Of the correct design. Uh, it's regular ice.
die next turn unless he has a surrounding move. Okay. So, it would have been bad if that killed him. Um, okay. Let's get back here. Let's use Hurricane Slash. Um, let's use Classic first. Giga Fire. Damn, that was a bit... <sighs> well done. You've... proven me wrong. I felt the true Defender's spirit. The strength of your determination. Even in this mechanical body. I lost. Now, finish me. Okay. We'll kill you in one painless blow. You can't! Curtis... Our battle has already ended. You tried to do what you thought was right. It's just that your sorrow drove you to do it in the wrong way. That's why I want you to fight by my side, as a comrade. How about it? Gordon. I could use a skilled person like you as one of my vassals. <laughs> the Overlord's vassal. That doesn't sound too bad, but it seems that my body needs to recharge. I must sleep for a while. Gordon, be careful of... Jennifer. Curtis, be careful of Jennifer? What does he mean by that? Be careful... of... Jennifer? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Modification? Mm-hmm. Modification. Will you three grow up already? I do find it funny how this is like one of the only times where Laharl, Fletna, Etna, and Mon all kind of get along. Uh, okay. So with that, I'm going to end this episode there because we've been doing it for a while, I think. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Can't really remember, in all honesty. Um, so, I hope you all have a very nice day and will join me in the next episode. Maybe we'll finish this chapter and start the next one. Bye.